There's only two ways to get to our house. One's through the uh, village we live near, Ban San Rai. There's only two roads in town. One is the main road, this one, and one isn't the main road. And it's been raining lately for a couple months, and, and, and then it rained, and, and then it rained, and then it rained, and it's been raining. And I'm just uh, trying to get home as the waters are rising, hoping that the god of cement and the god of tires can get together. Last night as we drove home, it looked like the sky was falling, or maybe some sort of alien spacecraft was landing. In fact, it looked like it was going to land right about where our house is, which is where that little help sign is. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, or rather trying to get back to the ranch, this is not good news for the folks in the village. This isn't the first flood. And this time the water is just flowing over the road through their houses. Their houses are lower than the road. I'm praying that my car will not also flow into the mayor's house and so I'll have to spend the rest of my life there with him. But there is dry land ahead. Ah. Unfortunately, you can't get in the other road either. Uh, as far as you can see, it's water, but at the end of uh, school, the kids will be out here fishing on the road. Chancellor the dog likes it though. Chance and I normally walk down this road. Uh, not today. Here's the lot next door. Uh, I mean the swamp next door. Officially, this is the road next to our house. We're very glad we have a wall. This is the little creek behind the house, and we're really glad we have a wall back here. The good news, um, escargot. There it is. Pick it up. You can eat it. We'll stick with rice. Here's the really bad news, the 10-day forecast. Reminds me of when I was in Portland. I asked a guy when he thought it would stop raining. He said, I don't know, I've only lived here for seven years. This is all very good news for a local yoga guru in town in the paper today with pictures. It's the last time he's ever going to teach anyone how to levitate. Everyone in Thailand will take his course. The best news, I don't have to mow the lawn. <laughs>